Video games are part of a wider subject called media, which to summarise with the Google definition would be the means of mass communication. Some common medias of video games are, as I said before, books, television, movies, music and more. Sometimes these media can cross paths to meet each other. A very infamous example of this would be video game movies, which are video games based off of movies, but even then there's a reversal of this which would be video games based off of movies. But a topic that I don't feel is ever spoken about is video game books, where publishers and writers base a book off of the lore and story of video games. I've read and owned a couple of these books, so I think it would be interesting to dive nose deep into this strange subject. If you think I missed out on a book and would like me to cover it, I'll maybe do a sequel episode, you never know. Assassin's Creed was a way of life for a while, and I guess it was my way of life for a while as well. In 8th grade, my parents forced me to read books, so I told them to buy me these. I've never read any of them, but I have the full collection. I think the biggest question about these is why novelize Assassin's Creed? I mean, of course the most obvious answer is money, but was it really that big of a franchise to warrant this much effort, you know, making an entire series of books and then abandoning it? I just don't get it. Moving on to something a bit more my speed, a really cool part of Nintendo history that I own is the Legend of Zelda manga. Now I own the Link of the Past one and it's extremely well illustrated and tells a different story to the one in the game. There's an entire Legend of Zelda manga series that's based off of all the games and it's extremely well illustrated and just awesome to have this. Another print series is the Life is Strange series. I can't really comment too much on them as I'm still reading them, but it's a continuation on one of the endings of the first game which is really cool and expands the lore heavily for the fans. Sorry I can't say more about these, but I think they're very cool. Moving on to digital comics, the one company I associate with digital comics is Valve, who've been making them since at least 2009 for their famous video game series such as Team Fortress 2, Portal 2, and Left 4 Dead 2. All the 2s, I guess. In TF2's case, there are comics for most major updates, a consistently made comic series featuring the Mercenaries, which is a great read, and finally a spin-off series featuring Saxton Hale. For Portal 2, there's a comic Labra, which explains the story behind the scientist, Doug Ratman, who you never actually see in the Portal games, but you do see his dens which he leaves behind in the test chambers. And then of course, there's the Left 4 Dead comic series, The Sacrifice. The comic fills in a gap between the first Left 4 Dead game and the second game's additional DLC. All three of these series go represent an officially made comic book, which contains the entirety of Sacrifice, Labra, and four of the Team Fortress 2 comics. Finally, the two kings of gaming literature. Minecraft and Chuck E. Cheese Conspiracy Ranting Brother. Minecraft books were the way of life for a 5th grader in primary school, and they were the best. They gave out little tips in 4 different books, Essentials, Redstone, Combat and Construction, but eventually would continue into many more books, mainly guides to aspects of vanilla Minecraft, such as Exploration, Creative, the different dimensions in the game, and even PvP minigames. There is also a Minecraft novel series which really gives me a reason to ask why, but hey good for them, if I had money like that I'd release a novel, but it's still strange. Now on to Five Nights at Freddy's, the game series that was an overdose turned into a book series that was an overdose. So you have the original trilogy, the Silver Eyes, the Twisted Ones and the Fourth Closet, which follow a character named Charlie and her friends in an alternate slash rebooted fresh timeline. I don't really want to get into specifics about this, I'm not reading these books. But there's also the 12 other books, which all have released in two years, in the other series called Fazbear Frights. What I gather is that it's most similar to comic series, like having different parts combined into one, but there are three stories in one book which are average about 60 pages each, all released within two years. Yeah, that makes sense, it's Five Nights at Freddy's, but Jesus. These video game novels are a great way to expand the lore of a series, but can also be a way to make a quick buck when development costs are too high. I honestly enjoy reading them because they get more lore that can't be delivered with the game, so again, in Life is Strange example, it expands on one of the endings, giving fans more of what they want, but some of them are just pointless. Oh, I forgot to talk about one certain book, The Fortnite Wind Guides. Yeah, they're a thing.